Let's go and have a look at the, the camps. So, this is me. Compound hammock, under quilt, sorted. Um, the arps is set up there. That's his organisation, his, his base camp. We've got the admin area, the base camp area, fire pit and so forth. And uh, Styx is just the other side. He's got his tarp set up there, his basher. So we've got the fire pit going. That's just ticking along, keeping the brews going. And out here, we're prepping firewood for tonight. Firewood. Um, Sticks brought a bottle of cider that he's made. A bottle? Um, <laughs> Whew. It's going to be a session tonight. Don't expect sense from me tomorrow. And then we've got Sticks to set up. As you can see here, he's folded his tarp back. He's got his hammock. Um, simple roll mat, give a bit of insulation underneath. <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> and this is where we're going. So there we go. Always said, once I get my Kelly Kettle, that's the other one, nothing else. <laughs> I've made it, I'm finally there. I've made it. Mother, I've reached the top of the tree. Well, don't fall out then, you sue yourself. <laughs> um, well, I've got my I'm, I'm, I'm trying to waffle. Perhaps the rubbish here for the camera. <laughs> I'll make some sort of sense. <laughs> yeah. Is it still recording? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to leave it all well, in. Quite often what I do is I just leave it on and then when I'm editing. <laughs> You know, it's like watch it back through, take out the stuff that's not there, yeah. bits of interest in leaving. Um, I'm trying to make my videos a little bit more funny and in the... <sighs> Morning, and welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. It is Sunday morning. It is around Zero, holy hell, is that the time? <laughs> Good morning, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors Survival. This is Mackie speaking, this is Sunday morning. I haven't filmed a lot this weekend, because blimey, we've been too busy laughing and having fun. The forest is awake. <laughs> the forest is awake with the sound of the wildlife. Um, by golly, one of the chaps was carried off in the night by a mosquito. Mosquito? It was a hell of a mosquito. Damn thing was 14 foot across the wingspan. Picked him up, carried him off. Heard him screaming for hours, poor blighter. Please, no, no, I can't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cut, Cut. Edit. edit, start again. Morning, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors and Survival. This is Mickey. Right, basic synopsis <laughs> of the weekend. That's been fun. There's been a large amount of homemade cider drunk. Oh, oh. hey. Oh. Yeah, the few remaining brain cells are hanging on desperately to the brain life raft whilst paddling for oh, common sense, I suppose. <laughs> That's the safety of ibuprofen and aspirin. Oh. Stop enjoying yourself, Mr. Mitchell. You're making a video, for God's sake. This is YouTube. Be sensible, young man. So guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors of Survival. Mick here. Sunday morning, it's quite early. We've had a bloody glorious weekend. Not so much in the weather, because as the guys will tell you, the actual weather has been cold and a bit windy. Um, but My God, it's we've been a bit nippy this weekend. <laughs> we've had so much fun. It's um, been absolutely glorious meeting everybody. And yeah, you know, trouble with these sort of things is. We are now exhausted because, yeah, we've been up half the night having a laugh and having a joke and having a natter. I think first night we got 
an average of about an hour and a half to get. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, fucking smoking me, fucking eyes. Smoking me. Bloody hell. An hour and a half kit. <laughs> Night, we've got about an hour and a half skipped. <laughs> yeah, got about an hour and a half skipped the first night. Um, yeah, and it was it was bloody funny because we we were come on eyeballs work. So basically, no, come on eyes. It looks like I'm sobbing. <laughs> That's because we're all leaving, Mick. Again, I've said, ain't you? Yeah, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm gonna miss you all. Like, what's, 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 my subscribers are going. <laughs> No, basically, right, so basic synopsis on the camp for myself. It was brilliant. Would I do it again? Yes, definitely. Um, it was great fun meeting people that I've spoken to time and time again. I've watched their videos, um, um, talked to subscribers and that. Yeah, I can't say what, what Tally -ho. it was. Tally-ho, Jack. Tally-ho. Um, sticks. Stix is, is as much a lovely bloke as he appears in his videos. Ah, thank you, Mick. He, he, yeah, his skill set is second to none. Um, when it none. comes to making <laughs> tripods, I mean, we have a tripod in the woods here that is going to be left here as a monument to bushcraft. <laughs> um, Cut yeah. all these logs. The, the log cutting ability of these guys, I mean, Yesterday I had to pull them back. It was there like was no chainsaw involved whatsoever. No chainsaw whatsoever. There was no chainsaw whatsoever. There was no bushcrafter and no survivalist on the end of a chainsaw. There may have been a chef <laughs> yeah. wielding a chainsaw, but no, we had a great fun up here. It was, no. I will second that, Mick. It's been an absolute pleasure this weekend, sir. Right, has has absolutely glorious fun tomorrow. Right guys, yeah, so here we are, Sunday morning. I haven't filmed a lot because again, got a lot of guys here, not everybody wanted to be on camera. Um, it's been a wonderful weekend. We've had great fun, we've had laughs, we we we, we have had a real laugh. Um, we it's been a long weekend and I will say I didn't realise how exhausted I would be. It was um, yeah, late nights, early mornings, cracking on, having fun. And I Four hours sleep all weekend, didn't you? Yeah, I would recommend it to anybody because it's it's nice to meet up, have a giggle, have a laugh. Obviously, I'm sat here with with sticks, sticks outdoors or sticks outdoors. That's the one. Yeah, sticks, sticks outdoors. outdoors. Yeah, it's all right. The brain's not functioning. It's a bit early. <laughs> the SOP. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, sticks. Do it again. One hundred percent. I'll be back next week if you'll have me. Yeah, yeah, more welcome anytime you want to come. <laughs> anytime you want to come down the woods, mate. You you want to come down here? You get hold of me. So Mick, uh, bit fed up. You available this weekend? Want to come down? Have a bit of a wild camp down the woods. You you come down, mate. I appreciate right. that, sir. It's not a problem. We can set that up. Because again, the fun of this is also sharing with other people and getting the pleasure out of it. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting Yarps and um, Maka and Rob and yeah. all the other guys that was here. Yeah, it's, been it's an absolute pleasure. It's great fun, and it's the other thing is, and I, I will say to you, and I think you're aware now, of one of my difficulties and problems is the fact that when I'm making videos, I have to be aware at all times. Not everybody is as lucky as me in having a facility like this to use. Where you have the freedom to just be able to light the fire, sit back and enjoy it. Um, so it's it's a, it both a pleasure and a punishment in a way. Because you, you have restrictions as yeah, well. You, yeah, you have restrictions. And I do have restrictions here as you're, you're now aware. Um, yeah, I, I, like anybody I have to obey the rules and, and Behave and now I'm fucking waffling absolute bollocks. Oh, we'll cut that bit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's been a it's been a great camp. I mean, everybody's had a great time, and uh, people have made friends. Um, yeah, that's that's the nice thing. They've got to share. Um, it's yeah, share techniques, ideas, skills, methods, um, even down to just chatting about how why we do stuff. It's been absolutely great fun. It's been nice getting to know everybody. Yeah. Um, I'd like to do this more often. I'd like to, possibly not this year, because it takes a fair bit of organising and that, but maybe 
next year um, do like a maybe a monthly meet up or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I like that. It sounds better. The monthly meet up. Monthly meet. You'll, you'll get sick of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be here every every month. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let, Thanks, <laughs> let the let the poor wife know that yeah, I'm now actually going to be <laughs> away more. Oh, she won't mind. No, she won't mind. And you got to meet Kaz and Willow. Oh, Kaz, what a lovely lady! What a lovely lady and Willow. What a crazy dog! <laughs> <laughs> what a crazy dog! He wide to the moon, isn't he? I, I, I tell you what, he looks like a when you watch him on the on the Sunday and you got him yeah. on the live. Yeah, he does look like a Wookie. Yeah, but in person, he looks even more like a bloody Wookie. It's like he just jumped out of a set of Star Wars. A big personality, though. Mm. Funny as hell. Funny as hell. Um, yeah, he, he owned this camp yesterday, he turned up and he was like, right, you're all my friends. And Sitting on me chest, he <laughs> yeah. was. Oh yeah, he's got, <laughs> my, my dog is a dog that has no respect to the boundaries of the human being, you know. It's like, let me get on your chest and whilst I'm here, I will clean your nostrils <laughs> for you. Love me, love me, love me. <laughs> but yeah, but again, <coughs> yeah, it's been a great weekend. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, I will say I'm knackered. Um, but really that's correct. part of the pleasure of it, though. Yeah. Yeah. Part of the pleasure of it. I'll tell you what, <laughs> your journey home, it's going to be like, you all right, love? <laughs> I'm going to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got to be about four hours a weekend we've had, isn't it? It's yeah. got to be. Four yeah. hours sleep. The thing is, that's it. You make the most of it, don't you? And yeah. did you get on with a hammock? First night in a hammock. It was, um... First night, like I said, <laughs> it was a bit, a bit uncomfortable to start with. Yeah. But no, I'm, I'm a hammock camper now. I think, I think that's it. It's just nice to be up the mm. deck, isn't it? It's, it's so much easier as well. Yeah. The setting up, packing up, it's just quicker, easier, and it's less to carry. It's, yeah. yeah. I'm converted. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really, it takes it. And for any of you that are thinking about hammock camping, it's not a natural way to sleep, is it? It's, no, you kind of. You get arched all night, innit? You? You yeah, yeah. I, I try to make a pillow, and because I'm like that, and then I've got the pillow, and my head's even like that, so I'm, I'm like, that. the pillow lasts for about <laughs> half an hour, and then it was gone. Once that was gone, I was, yeah, comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. The, the, well, that's the thing, is that the weird thing is, it has, you're sleeping on your back, or I always end up sleeping on my back. It's the only way I can really get comfortable in a hammer. At home on the side, yeah. on the chest. Yeah, and so you, you learn to sleep on your back. But for anybody that's thinking, oh no, that's not going to work for me then, I would say this much. You adapt to it. The first few times it's weird, but you will adapt to it, and your body will get used to it. And usually, with a hammock camp, by the time you've had a great day, done all your messing about in the evening, cracked everything out, you get so exhausted by the time you climb into your hammock, yeah. you just crash. And the great thing with a hammock, unlike a, a tent, and I'm, I'm, again, if you do tent camping and that's your thing, great. But one of the things for me is, it doesn't matter how much I've spent on that inflatable mattress, I wake up in the morning yeah, and, yeah, I've rolled off it. The mattress is the other side of the tent, I'm still on the hard ground in my sleeping bag. So somebody once said to me, well, then put the mattress inside your sleeping bag. Well, I'm a chunk of a bloke, so I ended up crushed inside a sleeping bag with my mattress. But I was comfortable. When I woke up in the morning, the sleeping bag's upside down. The mattress is on my back pointing towards the stars, and I'm <laughs> still crippled by the ground. <laughs> but with a hammock, you, there's none of that. You wake up, your joints, your muscles and that feel reasonably comfortable. Well, like I said, the first night was the first night I spent in a hammock and um, it was new to me. I didn't have no mat or nothing like that, did I? Right. So last night you gave me a little rollout mat. Yeah, just Game the, changer, absolute yeah. game changer. Um, one thing I do want to get though is the Annette Gris Beaver under quilt. Yeah. Because yeah. I noticed that you've got one and Yarps has got one. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that makes a big difference. And even now, I mean, we're 1st of June yesterday, 2nd of June today. Um, it's, it's actually, we've got up, the sky is now blue, the sun's come out, Beautiful it's morning. glorious. It's been overcast, Beautiful morning. cold. Mm. Also, this weekend so far has been cold, especially at night. 
you get about yeah. 10 o'clock on it, I know 10 people, people get closer to the fire, <laughs> Every the fire minutes. got bigger, um, it was <laughs> it was cold. Um, <coughs> but that, that, that underquilt, okay, so the underquilt on the, the one cigarette underquilt has multiple roles really in my book. I like, I like to think of everything as um, two is one, one is none. Cheers Dave Canterbury. Um, so what I have found with it is it's a great bit of kit because if you've got a top, you've got the hammock, you've got a, an inflatable mat or whatever to line out your hammock or uh, whatever mat system you want to use and you go out. The only other piece of kit I would throw into the equation would be a bivvy bag. So if you're travelling distance over land and it's suddenly like I've got to camp here, there is no trees, I can't get the hammock yeah. up. You can tarp shelter, bivy bag, yeah. and that one tigris um, underquilt, you could use it like a sleeping bag. You could literally just climb into it. It's okay. big enough to climb into. It doesn't zip up, but you could climb into it, wrap in that, in a bivy bag, be warm, comfortable, using it almost like a, a, an open sleeping bag. And I need to get, I need to get yeah. one. And if it I was, if it was warm weather, right, um, or milder, I wouldn't have needed a, an over blanket at all. Just use the underquilt. I'd just use the underquilt. I'd literally have crawled into that. That would have insulated okay. me. I'd have got a bit of air above me. I'd have probably got a comfortable night if it was. Pocket of air yeah. underneath you. And if it's extremely hot, the hammock comes into its own. You know, those real hot, sweaty summer nights, just the hammock, let the air get round you. Mm. Mate, it's, it's absolutely awesome that way. In actual fact, there's been a couple of times last year when it really got that real hot spell. And I said to the missus, I'm, I'm at the point of almost said, you know, I'll throw the hammock up in the garden and I'm just going to sleep in my boxes in the garden in the hammock <laughs> because it'll be cooler than trying to spend the night in the house. So again, and that's your adaptability. Yeah. And the whole kit, hammock, um, hammock, sleep mat, underquilt, whole lot packs away, nice and small, goes in a bag, plenty of room for your kit, food, yep. fire system. It's not overly heavy. Where you go? You even tried the Levu, didn't you? Oh yeah, I do want a Levu. Yeah. I do, I do want the Levu. I mean, we never got round to put it up as a shelter. I want everything. <laughs> well, maybe. I want it all. Maybe in the future, maybe in the autumn actually, when it starts getting a bit colder, yeah. get it down for a weekend, maybe get a couple of the other guys down, we'll get the Levu set up as a hot tent. Okay. And then you can do a, an overnight or a hot tent. Nice, yeah, I'll be up for that. Yeah? Yeah. I, I do want to try it with the Levu just sitting at the bottom of the tree, just covered. I, I do want to try that very, very young. As one of the team leaders in One Night Survival, don't get any ideas. <laughs> no, we won't be doing that. We won't do that. <laughs> the giggle though, will it? <laughs> well, okay. it, it would be it would be good though for the channel. It, well, maybe if and I'll put this out to the, the viewers, those those subscribers of mine. Do you Let's want see, to see? Do you want to see tree. me <laughs> and Sticks up here doing a one night with? Almost like a Polish military one-nighter. So we've got a Levu cape each. So we can either put it up as a full tent, or we can use it as individual. Yeah. Basic minimum skills. Right. So basically, bring the Levu, me and you, up here overnight in the woods. Basic fire pit set up. We'll do a beginner fire pit. Yeah. Yeah. Light your fire. Prep your fire. Prep the timber basic instruction on that for anybody that's never done it before, how to look at the wood, the timber and all that set, maybe a bit of cooking. I'll be up for that. I'll bring the Dutch oven down. Yeah. We'll do a Dutch oven night. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm up for that. Fucking excellent. <laughs> sounds good. That sounds like a good night. Sounds good. The old right. Levoos. Don't bring your cider. We don't need it. I think you'll still have some I'm, left. I've got years to pour yeah, cider have, there. You'll still have some left. <laughs> that cider. Wow. 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 The only thing I will put say... put too much sugar in it, it's yeah. very strong. There's a little man in it because you wake up and he's running around the inside of your head with a baseball bat, <laughs> trying to break out. Um, but a drop of water and some ibuprofen later, <coughs> fine. Um, 
definite gig of water. And for those of you that are wondering what the hell we're talking about, this is something Sticks come up with. One Tigris, no insult to you guys, not being rude, but your logo. Yeah, for guys like us in the UK that have never seen a tiger up close or sabre tooth, um, it's an angry beaver. <laughs> sabre tooth beaver. So, my camp for the weekend was a snug pack hammock. There we go. Snug pack hammock, and it was a great hammock. Simply set up, two trees, hammock, easy going. Yeah, so look, it's my hammock setups, one Tigris hammock, one Tigris undercoat. It's an absolute brilliant bit of kit, mate. I mean, the way it, the way it hugs you and it's set up on the elastic so everything drops together, yeah. it is just like a big sleeping bag. Like I said to you, 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 if you imagine that on the deck, you could just literally cover your body with yeah. it, climb into it. Um, it's definitely a bit, a bit of kit I want and need, yeah. definitely. Especially when the weather gets cooler. Yeah. You know? Before four o'clock um, in the morning, I'd, I'd feel the chill. <laughs> sleep system in there, John Kennedy, that's the American you know, It feels really light, doesn't it? Yes, but it does. I can't explain how effective it actually is. What is at it? Reflecting heat. What's the filling? Is I, it down I, or polyester? Uh, no, it's a polyester, but it's absolutely superb. And it's light, it's efficient. Um, and again, as you see, what we did. Let's chuck that up there. What I've done, and I recommend this to everybody. Simple, cheap, Euro hike, self-inflating mat. In there. And that... What's that, four foot? Yeah, four foot. I mean, I would go for a longer one. You know, I, ideally, once I'm out here, you know, standard length. But that that does the job. It just widens it out. It's not pulling up on the shoulders. Well, even that rollout mat you gave me last night, just, yeah, completely yeah. changed it from the night before. It does, doesn't it? Standard sling set up. I'm just nothing fancy about it. It is just the basic, basic setup. Um, and the way we rigged the top was basically, yeah, small edge this side, longer edge the other side. You can set up a chip. Yep. Do excuse the trailer, guys, because obviously it's woods used for training. So we got the the top set up there, so you, you'd have room for admin there. You could get a chair here. Really. Yeah, get a chair there. Play cards. Right. Yeah. Sarah, I sit in the chair, by We're the way. Pretty comfortable. <laughs> Simple setup, and again, the whole thing packs away one bag, then your food kit, then your cook set, and away you go. I was squatting for too long. Right, guys, Hampshire Outdoors and Survival here. Endex, Endex, Endex. Right, what a wonderful weekend, okay? It's been absolutely fantastic. You see the grin on my face. Fire's nearly out. Woods is returning to tranquility, peaceful, beautiful. Not that it wasn't when you were here. Um, guys left the woods immaculate, and thank you guys for all the hard work tidying up, putting the wood away, the, the logs, cutting the logs, and all the rest of it. That is appreciated, and Gareth does appreciate that. My thanks go out to who, sorry, 4x4 tours and training for allowing us to use the woods. Guys, thank you, really appreciated. It's been a fantastic weekend and the guys got loads out of it and we will definitely be doing it. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on much more other than poor old CRV is well packed in the boot. <laughs> Back seat's well packed. <laughs> so I've got all the gear in in one. Um, some special mentions, Sticks Outdoors, cheers brother, it was great meeting you, great chatting, we had a great time. To Jason, thank you for the food, your hard work there, appreciate it brother. To Mac, Rob, mate, awesome time, it was great to have you here. To Ray, cheers for the firewood brother, really appreciate it, yeah, and I'm glad you had a good time. Kaz, Willow, yeah. Had a good time too, and uh, it was lovely to see them enjoying themselves. Uh, to Yops, thanks brother. Be safe, have fun, be good, look after yourself. It was a fantastic time in the woods. 
It was a great wild camp. We will be doing it again soon. This is Mickey. I'm waffling. i got to go home. Love those you do. Forgive those you don't. And as always, peace and light be upon you all. Till next time, Mickey out. Guys, welcome to Hampshire Outdoors of Survival. As you may have heard, that is Yarps to my right. Hey Yarps, said chilling. Somewhere out there in the dark is Mr. Sticks himself. Evening, evening, evening. <laughs> uh, 